Okay, so today we're gonna check out how I made this in After Effects and Adobe Firefly. Now this is just another experiment just to push the boundaries of AI and combining it with like After Effects. So let's take a look how I did it. Now I already have a tutorial on how I generated this in Adobe Firefly and I gotta leave a link in the description. And here we're gonna check out how to animate this here in Adobe Video Generator and then we're gonna import it in After Effects. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Firefly Video Generator and as you can see, we got the prompt here, iridescent holographic water droplet forming and moving around the surface, transparent, clear, white background. And we're gonna go here to frame one, click on your device and I gotta select these blobs, click on open. And pretty much I'm going to do the same thing with the end frame, click on your device and I'm going to select the same exact frame, open. And up here you can set up the resolution. By the way, I went with 720p and hit generate and then you can experiment with different kind of results, but I'm going to go with this one, which I generated last time. Now let's open up After Effects, click on new composition, rename it. And I'm going to go with 1920, 30 frames, five seconds, click OK. So now I'm going to go and drag and drop the background image that I'm going to use. And of course it's too big, so I'm going to right click on it, go to transform, select fit to comp. Next I'm going to drag and drop the blobs. This is too small, I'm going to repeat the same step, go to transform, fit to comp. Now in order to make this work, we're going to need to uncheck both layers and let's go and double click on this rectangle. So it's going to fill up the page. So this is going to be the background, which is basically 1080p and the rest of these layers are different sizes, even if you make it fit into the 1080p. So I'm going to duplicate this background and I'm going to place it one under the generated video and another one under the background. So here I'm gonna go, press and hold shift, select both layers with the generated video and background, right click, pre-compose, this is gonna be the blobs. Second one, pre-compose background. And from here I'm gonna select both of these layers, press control D to duplicate, and I'm gonna go first on the top one with the blob layers, right click, rename, this is going to be the roto brush layer. So what we need to do is make sure to go here at the beginning and let's go and select the Roto Brush tool. And I'm gonna double click on this image. So it's gonna open up right here, I'm gonna drag it. And what I need to do is just select these blobs. So as you can see, it's selected this one and I'm gonna select the second one and the rest as well. I don't know why is this so blurry right now. And if I drag it, I'm gonna select the rest also. So check this out, if I bring it on the front, we got some issues going on. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and remove these parts. And this is how we're gonna to need to clean it up, all of it. So now I can go and close this, click on the X and bring it back. So if I uncheck the second blob, you can see it removed the background. So let's go and uncheck the top three layers and select the bottom background layer. Let's go to effects and presets, search for displacement map and drag it on the background layer. And let's go to the displacement map layer, change it to blob roto, go to source, select effects and mask. And now we can go and distort it. And as you can see, it is going to distort the silhouette of the blobs. So basically this is gonna be the magnification effect of the blobs. So now we're gonna to need to combine this with the top background layer, which is gonna be inverted. So let's go here. And at the track mat, I gotta select the blobs roto. And pretty much I'm going to repeat the same thing with this background layer as well. So it's going to look something like this. And all you need to do is click here and select invert to matte. So now we got these guys separated like so. So in order to invert this, we're going to activate the blobs here. And let's go here to the blend mode and I'm going to select the exclusion. So now we got this effect pretty much executed correctly with the exclusion. Now this is not 100% correct, but I think it looks pretty cool. You also can select the bottom background layer and add some Gaussian blur and drag it in because it's like too sharp and I'm gonna add some blur. So yeah, basically this is how you transform an AI slop into something experimental. Thanks for watching.